Welcome to this episode of The Integrated Entrepreneur. We are going to go over current business events. I am here with my good friend, Keith. Keith, what's going on? What's up, dude? This one's going to be a banger. This is, yeah, I think this is the most important thing we have covered to date by far. We're going to go over HR 5403. Keith, sorry. No, you're good. Okay. And what that is the Central Bank Digital Currencies Anti-Surveillance State Act. Okay. This is basically banning the Fed from making a central bank digital currency. We'll come back to that in a little bit. We're going to go over BOI certification, and we're going to go over arguably the biggest trial happening in our country today. All right. Those are the three topics, and we're going to break them out. Now, first and foremost, this Central Bank Digital Currency Act, catch you up to speed. And then I'm going to let Keith fill you in on what it is and why this is so important. This act actually passed in the House, mostly by or almost entirely by Republicans, and it prevents the Fed from making central bank digital currencies, Okay, which is, in my opinion, the last and missing piece for them to have total control over us as citizens. All right, Keith, you want to dive into this? Yeah, it's just another fucking layer of them taking away our, our rights to be free, right? Which there's really two ways to look at this, right? So a lot of people, you have the tinfoil hat people who are like, oh, they're, they're going to know everything about me and fuck the government. And like, you got to file taxes every year and you have digital records of where you swipe your credit card and your debit card. <clears throat> so this in really outside of cash transactions, this is already happening. The government mm -hmm. knows what the fuck we're buying. It, the shit isn't a secret anymore, right? Correct. But this is just that component of them going an extra step and then being able to shut down your debit card, your credit cards, or punish you for how you act. But to your point, it's, I think it's the final piece of like just total control. Yep. Thank God and it didn't happen. Guys, yeah, this is, here's where we're at, okay? This is in the Senate to get passed in the Senate. And then it's going to go, obviously, to Sleepy Joe's desk. It is important that you call your senators and make sure this gets passed. Okay, That's how you get real action happening and change happening. Every single person should look up their local senators and be calling them, writing them, telling them they need to vote to pass this. Okay, Especially if you have Democratic senators because they're much more likely to veto this or shoot this down. To get into this and why I'm so concerned about this, if you look at what's going on in China, China's had this for years. China essentially can shut down anybody's account for any type of violation whenever they feel like it. So imagine you have a family of four. You made a post on social media. You go to buy groceries for the week and they say, no, you can't have access to your money. They don't have to get boy. Yeah, you were a bad boy. What I do? I don't know. Okay. And so this absolutely crushes any type of freedom we have. It's not so much tracking. It's more about the control. Another thing that they do in China, they can put time limits on how long that money will stay in there. Okay. So think about it now. When we want to stimulate the economy, we always print money. Okay. Which is obviously not good to the degree in which we do it, and it doesn't get used in this country. However, in China, not only can they print, they can say, all right, well, your money is good. You have 18 months to use it once it's in your account, okay? What if they go and change that 18 month timeline to 12 months and then to six months? How hard is it to save, okay? The fact is they can control every aspect of your life if they can control how you transact, yep. all right? There's no freedom anymore. You are effectively a slave without chains. Okay. We're heading there, so get ready. We're heading there if we don't take massive actions to stop it. This is one of the biggest things that you can do to right. stop it is call, make sure they vote, and make sure this gets passed. If this doesn't get passed, they are going to try to put us in 15-minute cities 
like the globalists have been saying, the World Economic Forum has been saying for years, yep. this is the missing piece, guys. There's nothing more important. Okay. And by the way, if you have central bank digital currencies and they decide to do, they decide to print infinitely and they don't let you exchange or swap it for other currencies or gold or silver, guess what? That means you have zero control. And so you could be making a million dollars a year, but that million dollars is really worth $10,000 in today's income. What do you do? There's nothing you can do. There's, you're at the mercy of somebody else for everything. And that is the last thing we want, guys. Keith, what other reasons can we elaborate here on how fucking important this is and why it needs to get passed? I don't think you need to elaborate, honestly. That you either want to be controlled or you don't. And if you, you don't care, then don't worry about it. If you care, make the phone call. There you go. Send the email. Um, that's, this is a small deal. It leads us into this next thing. 34 fucking guilty verdicts for Trump today. Yep. So what does this do for the election? Well, I don't know the rules. I've never studied up on if two people are left and there is no, it's only a primary election. Mm-hmm. Everyone else pulled out. Can now someone else jump in? Because if he can't run or do, I don't know if he's allowed to run still or not allowed to run. Is this more civil? Who knows? Yeah, guys, at, at the time of us recording, this came out about five minutes ago. So we haven't had time to do a deep dive into it. We're just saying, we obviously, this was a uh, farce or sham of a trial. They are trying to interfere in the elections to make sure their guy wins. And they did everything they could to stack the deck in the other favor. Now, obviously, this is a big event, big news, and it's a lot to digest. Keith, obviously, besides the very, very obvious, okay, how are you reading this? How how would you play this? Because at the end of the day, I don't think there's a way to position your business any differently based on this news. Options. You either are currently in, but Mm -hmm. at at a greater disadvantage because... They've got four more years to run the scoreboard up and interest rates and whatever else that happens. Mm-hmm. I have been flooded with phone calls this past week because I think people, I think everyone that follow, has followed this has known that he's going to be found guilty. Even yesterday, Trump walked out and said, I'm going to be found guilty. There's no getting around it. Mm-hmm. Now, <clears throat> the particulars and all the shit he said, she said, shit, I don't care about. The reality is this. You better start battening the hatches down immensely across the board, personal financials, business financials, you better really dig into what you're spending, you better mm-hmm. dig into your employees cost and get ready and prepare for this shit to be mm-hmm. this travel bus. And if you're, even if you're well off financially and your business is well off financially, you better get liquid as fuck mm-hmm. and stack your cash in places that you can have quick access mm-hmm. to it. So we've been fielding calls left and right to do that. High yield savings accounts are becoming super popular right now. The problem is we go back to the first conversation we talked about, right? Yep. People are like, oh, fuck, man. I don't want anyone knowing where its money's at and this and that and the other thing. But I am preferencing this to all of our clients and, and friends and whoever's asking is just prepare for another four years of it being real fucking hard to maintain. And if you do that, you'll come out the other side. It's still not going to be a fun ride, but everyone's asked me recently, why'd you sell the car? Why'd you sell the boat? Why are you selling all your shit? Getting liquid, getting out from under debt, getting out from having to perform a certain amount of income each month just to make shit happen because I know it's about to get shitty. Now, the flip side of that is if you are in a position of strength and you do become liquid, now Mm -hmm. you've got firepower. Yeah, And this is a time to to buy market share and to swallow up companies that are going down yeah. at pennies on the dollar and real estate and, and everything else from Employees. an investment perspective. Yeah. Oh, I, absolutely. I'll tell you right now, with all the layoffs that are happening, I was able to get a world-class CFO recently, just brought her on. She was the CFO of my biggest client, and I was able to add five salespeople 
all because there's mass layoffs and most places they don't see an opportunity. And because if you can paint the vision of how we're aligned right now in, to succeed and win in these times, you're going to be able to get people that you haven't ever had a chance to get in the past. Yeah. And so that's what I've been taking advantage of. Uh, but here's how I see this Trump thing and the trial playing out. Obviously, found guilty. No one in their right mind would not appeal this. Okay, are they? Go- He's obviously going to appeal it. I don't know. No one knows how long that process will take. It will probably take him well past running. Twelve to twenty-four the- months. Exactly. Yeah. And this is going to be hanging over his head the entire time. I don't think it's enough to drop him out of the race. I don't know I, the legalities behind any of that. I've never. I, I don't think I, anyone's I, ever researched it. No. <laughs> what I, happens I, if someone gets arrested while they're running for president? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know either. Okay, but here's what here's my biggest concern in all this. Okay, they have already tried to make a transition for him to go to Rikers. All right. Yeah. I and I would be very concerned what happens to him when he's in there. Okay, that is too easy of a target. Yeah. And everybody is going to want to do that. Okay. He's too easy of a target there. It's too aligned for the powers that be, the people that hold power now. It's too convenient for something not to happen. And now that they played their cards and they got the guilty verdict, that is the only thing I could think that they do. So the appeal and the sham trial trial and all this thing, it doesn't matter. Okay. And so that to me is very concerning. And the only way we're going to figure out what's going on is to let it play out. We don't know what chaos is happening there. I'm sure there's plenty of chaos on the streets. And I'm sure this is going to be something that drags out and is the topic of every news channel for a very long time. Okay. So I think what Keith said, preparing yourself Getting liquid, being in the best position of strength you can be is crucial in these times. And then the other thing that we wanted to go over with you guys, because a lot of people have confusion over this, and I think the government has confusion over this, is the new BOI certificate that they pushed. And then they said, no, it's not mandatory. And now they're coming back and saying, hey, it might be mandatory. The way I see this is control. They want to know 100%. every person involved in any business. Yep. All right. And they, they are going to do it when it comes time for taxes. They're going to be auditing more. I just think it's another way to control entrepreneurs. And entrepreneurs are the number one place they want to attack. And why is that? It's because we dictate and control the culture because we make a bigger impact in our communities by hiring people and by serving that community. So if we are under siege, okay, constantly, we do not have the same ability to make the impact that we need to make. And if they get rid of small business, basically the next thing they roll out is UBI for everybody, universal basic income, and then the central bank digital currencies. And guess what? It is a lock. They have control over everything. And there's nothing you can do except hopefully move to somewhere that doesn't have it yet. Okay. But if it goes to our country, I promise you, okay, it's probably too late anywhere else. Here's why I say that China's had this set up for years and it's only, they're only tightening those controls. We're starting to see some of it happen in Europe. If you want to see what we can expect, Europe is typically six to 12 months ahead of us with all the stuff that these globalists and the World Economic Forum are pushing on. Okay, so they usually test it there first to try to bring it here. And we have to fight these things with everything we have. Otherwise, your ability to operate a business, your ability to raise a family, your ability to earn a living and have limited personal freedom that we have now does not exist. Yeah. There's really two ways to look at it. Of course, they want to spin it as a protector. Mm-hmm. We want to try to find the people who are not paying taxes. Yeah, we're doing this for you, Keith. Yeah, people who are laundering money. Fuck. We're, I needed that shit this year. I needed to evade taxes. I Now it's back being protested as it's unlawful and unconstitutional. Will it happen? Who knows? The current kind of loose rule or whatever is that if you're 
business was open prior to the beginning January 1st of 2024. You have until the end of the year to file this yeah. report. And if you opened it after January 1st, I think it's like a 90 day window that you yes. have to file, right? Uh -huh. But <clears throat> what's the other side of this? How many fucking ERC gurus spun up a new company to charge you 50 bucks to file this fucking report for you? Yep. Guys, I'm going to save everyone who hears this 50 bucks. Don't fucking file through a company. Go to the IRS or FinCEN website and, and print the shit out and mail it in yep. if you're going to do it. Uh, I haven't done it yet. I'm going to wait. I'm going to hold out and see what happens. Um, again, nothing is a secret. Fuck. Everything is everywhere, right? Yep. And so it's uh, one of those things like, yeah, we can talk shit about it, but they already fucking know. Yeah, they know you got to file your shit in, in the state. So if the shit's filed in a database in the state, the IRS knows about it. And if you're operating without that, then you're the one percent who's probably too broke to fucking get the shit done anyway. And you're trying to make ends meet. And I'm not going to hate on you for that. If you got to fucking support your family and you choose to do it that way, that's on you. It, it is one of those things. It's, it's just another controversy topic. And I think yeah. that the world loves to have those, the government especially, to keep us divided. And that, at the end of the day, I think that's all it is. How could my views be different from yours, dickhead? Let's <laughs> argue about it. And, Connor, and the reality is this, guys. We have at, collectively, as a group of citizens, put our heads in the fucking sand for too long and just gradually say, oh, that's not going to impact me. That's not a big deal. It's not going to yeah. have any effect or impact on my business or my life. And we've let that go gone on for God knows how long, 20, 30, 40, 50 years. And now we're here. Okay. And this is what happens when you see neglect, when you see indifference, when you see people that just want to be left alone and run their business and raise their families, not be active in being an American citizen, right? Not standing up and saying, absolutely not non-compliant. And now we're here, guys. And now it's going to take a lot more work collectively from all of us to make sure that we do the right thing and get our country back, get our businesses back and serve our communities at the highest level. All right. And it starts with you guys going and pushing all of your local senators on this bill. And it starts with you guys taking care of your team, your communities, your families, and making sure that they understand how important it is to be a good person, be a good citizen, and actually make the change that you want to see. All right. Keith, you got anything else? Go ahead. No, no. Just waiting to see all this bullshit on Facebook and Instagram, all these keyboard warriors with this Trump thing. Watch everyone yeah. argue. Yeah. It's going to be my, oh. uh, my my popcorn and movie night. There you go. Net, net, <laughs> Facebook and chill. Facebook and chill. <laughs> Guys, do us a favor, all right? Share this all over the place because I have a feeling it could get throttled, okay? So share it. Leave us a review. We appreciate you guys, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care.